Five minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, we're live at 5.55. This is the Monday Meetup with Tim Down from Living With MS in Tenerife. Unfortunately, Christina has got a dicky tummy and didn't want to leave the house. I think she just wanted to watch the Monday Who Wants To Be A Millionaire, but that's another story. And I'm here on my own at, where are we today? Don't say anything to anybody because that'll spoil the surprise. We are at Terraza El Hable, not Del Hable, Terraza El Hable which is weird, but there you go. Terrasa El Jable in Cayo Savaki. This is gonna be the regular meetup that we're gonna have. It's on the top floor. This plays Spanish music, so there's no problems with copywriting or anything like that. We got Jose, we got Ambrose, and uh, they're gonna look after us. They do some great tapas, they do some great food if you wanna eat as well. And uh, I'll be here from about 5.30 till about 7.30, uh, depending on how many uh, beers I have, Amstels I have. I can't have too many because it's very, 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 very strong. We do have guests. People have arrived. The call went out. They answered the call. And here we are. So I am going to introduce you first of all to Ian. Ian, you're live. And there's your, camera, there's your thing. A microphone your as camera. well. I'm you very impressed. It's a brilliant setup. I've got to be honest it's with you, good, Tim. It's really good. It's good. It is really good. All the uh, the tripods and everything. It's it's like you're at the BBC or something. I'm very impressed. The Berry Bridge Club. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The Berry Bridge Club. Yeah. I played there. Brixton Broadcasting Corporation. Brixton Broadcasting. Used to say, back it. in the day. That's it. So, uh, Ian, thanks for coming. Hey, I know no, you're here with the family invite, and yeah. you, you're there shopping and you only can stay a little yeah. while. And you bought me a pint already, yeah. so I'm... I'm you're I'm, made. You're I'm made. I'm you're made. glad I'm here. We're going we're gonna to go like this. The two's up and we're going to prost. So, prost. prost. Cheers. Mm. You're on the beer, I'm on the Coke. Exactly, exactly. But uh, if, if Christina's watching, that's my cola. It's, it's not, yeah. I don't know who gave me the beer. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. So, Ian, what's your story? Where are you from and how did you get here? From Liverpool, by plane, funnily enough. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, we got a live one here, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> and, uh, no, we come to Cali every single year. Uh -huh. I've been coming for eight or nine years. I've got to work out exactly when it was. It's a brilliant village. It's lovely. Um, and the Tenerizians, they're, they're, they're great people. It's a really nice... How did you find Cayo Sabaki? Because it's not, or it's not on the map, is it no, really? No, it's not. Um, the first year we came, uh, my parents um, brought us out with um, our other brothers and sisters. So there was 14 of us, 13 or 14 of us staying in the villa. Wow. Um, and then we loved it and we, we've been back ever since. We wouldn't really want to go anywhere else. Cool. But uh, it, it's good. It's, it's friendly. It's, you do feel safe. The village is brilliant. Um, and obviously we've got people like you, uh, you know, ringing the bell for Calio and it's definitely very good. I yeah. love the way that it's got this, this, uh, this name Calio. I, yeah. really, I really do the, I love this name Calio because everybody calls it Calio and I've got to say Calio sometimes yeah. just, just to get it done, you know. And I looked into what the, what the thing uh, means and I know that Salvaje means savage, yeah. but Calio or Callao as they, or they'll, they'll pronounce it, is, it can be translated as many different things. And Callao is either a boulder or a pebble or the, what else is it, Juliani? Juliani here. A pebble, so, so a pebble. So, so savage at, pebbles. So we're staying at a savage pebble place. We're staying at the yeah, savage, I'll, savage pebble beach. I'll do. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I'll do. Cayo Savaki, Playa de no, it's Playa de Arabo, yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's not called Cayo Savaki. No, in but fact, it used to the, the, be very uh, pebbly. Yeah, I remember that. It still is, isn't it, on the beach? They made, yeah. Uh, made it to this nice beach. Uh, it was just a pebble beach. I remember in 2014 when we got here, they ground the rocks up. Yeah. Yeah with a big sort of, um, it looked like a washing machine drum. And they just ground the rocks up and then threw it all out. And then that year, there was the worst rain ever in October and it washed it all away into the sea. And they had to do it again. I mean, that was terrible. It took all these things and everything. So Kyle's a great place. You've been here for 20 million times. Yeah, yeah. You've got all the family here. And <laughs> 20 million and one. That reminds me of the joke with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I used, to, I used to work in the Natural History Museum in, in London yeah. and they came in and they said, uh, how, how old is the Tyrannosaurus Rex? I said, it's 39 million years and four, year, and four years old. They said, how can you be so precise? I said, it was 39 million when I got here and I've been here four years. Yeah, that's good, I like that. Good. Yeah. Drum roll. Drum roll. Yeah. That's, uh, 
Ian's a DJ. Used and so, to be a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> back but, in my but I'm youth. sure I'm sure he's I'm sure he said worse <laughs> jokes than that. Yeah, <laughs> quite a few. Yeah, and you open your eyes after you've told a joke and you realise no one's laughing and you go, oh. This is the yeah. beauty of of camera. Yeah. I could just put a laugh track on it afterwards. Yeah, you know. I can sound funny. Oh. I could be funny. I could be funny again. I was a professional comedian, actually, because when you've got to tell them what you're going to be when you go to Autonomo. Yeah. So I said, well, I'm a magician. They said, we don't have that in the list. Yeah. So what are you? I said, well, I'm an illusionist. Oh, we got that, they said, but you've got to be an illusionist and comedian. You can't be just an illusionist. I said, what? What? You've got to be a comedian as an illusionist. Yeah. yeah, I'm afraid so. So I picked that one then. So They said at school I could be a stand-up comedian because every time I stood up, people laughed at me. Oh, so, uh, yeah, there you go. I had to do another one. You, you had to do another one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On, We're it's going, it's a race to the bottom it's again. It's only fair. It's a race it's to the bottom. Yeah, I'll be there first. <laughs> so, Ian, um, you, you're staying in a private villa. Yep. You've got the family over. What do you normally do? I mean, what, what's your go-to thing for, let's say, uh, going out and enjoying yourself? Um, the main thing for coming over is relaxing because we really are 24-7 yeah. uh, when we're back at working. So we, we, we love to come over and relax by the pool and things. But going out for meals, um, I know it sounds uh, weird, but like, you know, an Italian, we love Italian. Eating Italian in Spain, you know, it's, it's weird. But um, Italian there, we love um, American food, British food. Um, and only very recently have we got into... Um, Indian food as well. So okay. um, for a, well for all my life until about two or three years ago, I never really ate any Indian food because I didn't like spices. Mm -hmm. and I was introduced to a, a chicken tikka masala, mm -hmm. and I thought, wow, I've, I've missed out. So because it's I, almonds and cream, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's not it's not really. I think the strongest thing I ever had until then was Coronation chicken. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, it was, yeah, uh -huh. you know, and then somebody said an onion bhaji, and I went, an onion bhaji, what's that? I had an onion bhaji, I can't, yeah. You can't so stop now. So now I prefer Indian food to Chinese food. There you go. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. There used to be a Chindian down here, Chinese and Indian. Called Sam Rat. It was, yeah. <laughs> Sam Rat. <laughs> you know, I've got to go for a nice Did meal you? at Sam Rat. Exactly. I went there. It's yeah. lovely. Yeah, yeah. Had mainly Chinese food there, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Sam Rat, we couldn't, we couldn't believe it. When we found out it was called Sam Rat. <laughs> It's like, what? It's like Roland's brother. Yeah, 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 Roland Rat. <laughs> in fact, uh, I was going to, there was a, Sam was the cook in the hotel that I used to work at, and his wife was called Ella. So I said, you have to open a restaurant called Sam and Ella's. Yeah, yeah, you got, yeah, <laughs> you've, yeah. You've got to do that, you've got to do that. And it was, the, it was the time when slug and lettuce was the thing, you know, the, yeah. that, was a, that was another thing, yeah. Sam Rat, you're right. But they've moved actually, the same owners, they've got a Chinese place and it's a bit more posh. Yeah. And they've got, um, they do sushi as well, so. And it's, it's not too bad, but it's hidden. It's behind the, um, behind the supermarket, down the bottom. But we have two Indians in town. We've yeah. got the Bombay Babu, which is a chain, but it's only a chain on the island, I think. Uh, the, the owners live here. And so uh, I know them. I did magic for them, actually, at a charity do one day. So I've met those guys. And the other one is round the corner, and that's uh, the ma 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 masala. Mm. Masala. And masala's got to work twice as hard because they're like a two-man show, and they're hidden. So they've got to be really good quality. And uh, you've got to go there if you in Cayo So try all the all the restaurants there. But you've got to go in and to masala and tell them Tim the magician sent you. Okay, that's my next uh, that's onion bhaji yeah, for yeah, free, yeah, isn't yeah. it? That's it. Yeah, you sorted now. <laughs> And a, su a surprise restaurant that I got to tell you, I did a vlog from there, is El Talle, which is the. In the, in the it sounds like it's in the car park, but it, it looks it looks really nice. It really is yeah. nice, and the couple there, he's French, she's local. Uh, I think she might be Venezuelan, actually. But anyway, so they do uh, posh tapas, mm. and you can do a tapa selection. I love tapas. So you and, and it's not like the tapas you get, you know, where there's pictures on on the board yeah. outside. It really is. One of the things was a fantastic, and I've got it on the vlog if you go back and watch it. One of the things was a smoked tuna steak. And it comes with a dome and they lift it off and the smoke comes out like that. So it's really top notch. And the whole thing cost 65 bucks, including a bottle of wine for two people. It's not too bad, so it? that was really, really good. That was really, really good. So what else do you want to tell us? How was your trip? Well, the trip was brilliant. Um, I, I've got to be honest with you, as long as you've got, I've got a super organized wife and I know she'll be watching. So I've got to say she's super, What's her name? super organized. Anne. Anne, if you're watching, you are super organized. <laughs> uh, she is. And um, she had everything in order. She had all the tests booked. Um, and she worked out where the best place was to go. 
and the best place to go for your test isn't always the cheapest mm -hmm. um, because we wanted to make sure that um, now, me being sort of the worrier, I wanted to make sure we had our tests 48 hours, under 48 hours before we went, not the 72. Because mm -hmm. if there was a delay at the airport, I thought, you know, would Spain not let you in? You know, because if you think about it, so, you know, so we, we had ours closest. We needed to make sure because we had that one day of not having, um, you know, that one day less. Mm -hmm. We wanted to make sure we got the results through. So um, we then... So went with this company in Bootle and it was brilliant and um, we got our tests through literally within about 12 hours um, and it was I think it was about I think it was 90 pounds I think it was for those ones because they were the rapid ones mm -hmm. um, so we got those once we got all of that we then were able to upload our um, obviously our results and our QR codes um, to do that and then everything went on to the right are we allowed to say them yeah yeah the Ryanair um, airline um, put those onto their website and that came through all on our boarding cards oh you're not allowed so, to say boarding cards oh you can't say boarding cards <laughs> so the cards that you board with is that, that okay? that's okay that's okay, okay. The cards that well you board saved with well saved the blue planes <laughs> Irish <laughs> company um, they uh, uploaded everything onto uh, onto there, and then literally it was a walk in the park through the through the, uh, through the airport. And did um, the park keeper say you should be at the airport? Yeah, he did say you should be at the airport. So That's we, what got, I thought we got the taxi to the airport from got the park. From the and car. We got through the airport then. Okay, so there you great. go. Yeah, so there was no problems no, at all. No, it was great. So don't be don't be worried as long as you've got a super organised wife or husband or significant other uh -huh. or anything else like that. It it, it really is easy. Um, and then coming through to the airport here, at first we thought there was going to be a glitch because we scanned our QR codes and um, then they called my, uh, my daughter, can you come through? And they asked, the, the, the doctor said we need to, and we couldn't understand because they didn't speak brilliant English. And we thought they were saying you need a COVID test, which obviously she got. So then we just had to pull out the letter from um, the, the COVID testing and it was just to double check that the paperwork that you'd uploaded um, match the paperwork that All right. you So they don't do that for hands. everybody, it's just no, like a spot just, check. No. And then okay. obviously as we were then going through, queuing up to get through passport control, um, you could see every now and again they'd pull somebody, pull the paperwork and, yeah. you know, just to double check the that uh, the things... Test. So yeah, the, ra yeah, the random drug, and we got it from Liverpool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's not random. Yeah, no, 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 no. Where are you from, passports. Liverpool? Yeah. <laughs> there you, you come, we'll check you. Uh, take the money out your sock as well. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, so, no, it was great, straight through, no problems. Um, we didn't slow down at all in Manchester Airport. We didn't slow down at all in, um, obviously, in Tenerife South Airport to get straight through. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, can't fault it. And since we've been here, it's, it's been great. We stay away from the, the mass crowds anywhere. Like I said, we're in a villa, so we don't see many people. We just go out for a nice, quiet meal, meet nice people like you guys and girls, and then we'll be back home safe and sound. Having said that, we did stay at the uh, the Sheraton the other day for our 30th wedding anniversary, and the protocols in the hotels are also not bad. So if you are in a hotel, you are, you are looked after, and not only that, but the pro if you stick to the protocols, wash your hands, wear your mask, and don't kiss and cuddle everybody, which has been terrible for me because, you know, I'm a kiss and cuddler. But, you know... Are you? Yeah, I am. You're lucky. <laughs> You're lucky we're not allowed. <laughs> yeah. I'd have been all over you. Such a good-looking guy, yeah? For 65. For 65, exactly. I, do, I had a hard paper round. <laughs> <laughs> it was all uphill. Do you, um, you want to, we had a bit of a chat before we went live and he told me about what he did, but uh, do you want to talk about that? I don't mind, I'll talk, yeah? about, I'll talk about myself just, just tell him what you do, because this is really cool. Um, we've got a company called The Customizer. The and, Customizer. Uh, the, you're, you're I've, never, I, I, I've, got, I've got to do it, I've got to do it. The Customizer. There you go. Well, that's good. I'm, I'm going to do, nice. if you want a, um, a thing for the phone, right? Yeah. You've called the customizer. From Tim okay. Dida. Yeah, we'll know yeah. where you, we know where your house lives. Where your I, house lives? Yeah, they say it's a, it's a German joke. Ah. Um, the, the, the Turkish uh, people that live in Germany, they speak this sort of like hip German, you know? Yeah. And instead of saying, uh, wissen, no, ich weiß, ich weiß, wo dein Haus wohnt, is, is the, is the, uh, is the threat. Ich weiß, wo dein Haus wohnt. Know I know, where I know where your house lives. lives. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, apart from that, so go ahead. So the so, customizer. Yeah, the customizer. We uh, we started off doing crazy things, um, like we made a, a car out of a skip, and um, you know uh, it was a Subaru Impreza WRX, and uh, we built it into a skip, a metal waste skip. Okay. Um, for a, a skip hire company, 
um, and as a promotional vehicle. So obviously it was all MOT, it was all tickety boo headlights. Um, so you took the chassis and all that, and yeah, then yeah, stuck yeah. a skip on top. Basically, we made a very un. Uh, a very undesirable body kit, effectively, <laughs> and fitted onto a uh, WRX. Uh -huh. So, because um, if you think about it, if you were going to be booking a skip or hiring a skip for your company or your house or whatever, who would you book? Somebody who turns up in an old car, a rep, or somebody who turns up in a skip? You know, so he was always remembered and he made a lot of money because everybody was booking his company because who else would you book so then all, then the gates opened and weirdo central came people wanted like <laughs> 10 foot champagne bottles uh, we cut a car we've got ferraris in half we've to make desks we've cut a lamborghini countach in half to make a bar a lambargini come on that's good a that, is, that is good yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, we've done that. We've done an Aston Martini um, with a mobile bar. So you press the button and the bonnet lifts up. And obviously you've got all the, um, we've got, there's loads of pictures, everything. We even got a call from Lord Sugar to uh, do a, a plane for a restaurant in London. So we built a full size replica plane up in, uh, in a place called Sheesh Chigwell in London. Sheesh Chigwell in London. Essex, yeah, but a best, best restaurant, amazing. So if you go there, you can see all Ian's work there. What's the company yeah. called? Um, the customizer. Oh, sorry. No, the, the customizer. Yeah, the customizer. And what's the what's the address? Um, the customizer.com. The customizer.com. One word. Yeah, one word. Yeah. There you go with Z. With an S. No, with an S. Z. It's well, not American. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you said you were yeah. into New York. <laughs> yeah. Well. The customizer with an S. Yeah. Right? Like Timothy with an S. Timothy. No, I need to ask you a question. Actually. Yes, sir. Um, we've heard. Yes, sir. Where are you? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Um, we got, when, when we, the first time we came to Calio, the Merlin, which is in the, your background at mm -hmm. the moment, um, it was derelict and it was, it was a sad looking place. It was. Now, we were told by somebody that, because um, we were stood there looking at it, and we were told that um, a family fell out, when, when whoever owned it passed away, a family fell out, let's just say a brother and sister, for example, and um, they said that we're going to leave it now because they couldn't. One wanted to sell it, one didn't. Um, so they decided to not do anything. It went to rack and ruin. Started to look terrible. And that—that's the best I know. Is that true, or is that? I think it's half true. I think it's half true. I think what happened was it was an owners' club, so people had actually bought apartments in there. Like a timeshare. It's like a timeshare, but it was slightly different. I was, and as far I really don't know, but as far as I can tell. There was this um, sort of nobody actually owned it outright, yeah. so there was the this uh, humming and hawing about what we're going to do with it, right? And it it just didn't get finished, you know. Then somebody came in and offered to turn it into a nursing home, and uh, offered a lot of money, and nobody bit on that. And then eventually a a cartel has come along and bought the whole thing. I think it's something to do with the hard rock. Right. Because I think what they want to do is to up the quality of the area anyway altogether. Yeah. So I think that's what happened. But I don't think it was brother and sister. I think it was just that there were so many owners involved, right. they couldn't all agree. Like a so, conglomerate of businesses. I think so. Yeah. I think so. So another cartel has sort of come in and sort of like saved the day, if you like. Not a Mexican cartel. It was not a Mexican <laughs> cartel. They just bought it cash. <laughs> Although it really uh, resembles the real one. It does. It does. It does. Because it's white. And the, the glass. Uh, uh -huh. Giuliani is joined us with a family from the Netherlands. Yes. Netherlands cacao? Yes. I know Netherlands cacao. In the oh, cacao. Oh, yeah. Netherlands cacao, yeah, that's my favorite <laughs> advert on, uh, on the Dutch radio, Netherlands cacao. I don't speak uh, any Dutch apart from Dankabel and um, Amstel. No? Is it? Amstel. <laughs> <laughs> is it Dutch? Uh, Amsterdam is Dutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, Ian. Yep. I'm going to turn the camera around to these guys very quick. I'm going to take shoes off anyway. I'm but, just yeah. thinking that because you've got to pick the people up yeah, at yeah, uh, in wife, shopping. Happy, happy wife, happy life. Happy wife, happy Definitely. life. That is that is something to live by. I tell you. That's, oh, that that light's great. That the bouncing light look, makes me look all young. Look. Can I see that shot? Oh, you can. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. You can. Oh wow. Well, oh, that's really good. Oh, I'm just going to stay here now. Oh, Solomio. Anyway, Ian, I'm going to thank you very much. Can I thank you as well because um, it was it was brilliant when we started to watch you. Like I said, it was a few years ago. 
and the, the facts and figures that you gave us, um, it was great because, like I said, I did say to you this before, and, and I mean it, it was really good because it gave us the confidence to say, yeah, we, we'll come over. Um, and when you broke it down into how many um, figures and how many... In a decade. Yeah, in exactly. End, yeah. It was brilliant. And you could see that Calio was like super low and a decade was super low. Um, or still is, yeah. you know, so it was really good to be able to see that um, and to actually see how things are going and it sort of kept your enthusiasm, your excitement that oh, we will get there, we will get there and it would also, it, it really did help, so I, I mean it, thank you. I'm and really also, glad, I'm really glad. When you walk around Cali, we're like, oh, he's going past our road, he's going past, <laughs> guys, and we, we've been there, we see that and he's showing everything, you're going past the Merlin, and we're going, God, there are all the things we need. We're going to go and break into his villa after. <laughs> And we'll be gone Friday. You can do it after Friday. That's fine. So uh, thank you very much. It's a pleasure, and um, obviously, it, it, it's, it's, it's a pleasure to meet you. And it's it's really nice that to invite down. And, and how long are you for? We go back Friday. We came. We were over for two weeks, so we fly back on Friday. We came. We saw. We conquered. That's it. And then we're, we're at uh, the Little Germany on Wednesday for yep. the one-year anniversary of Balcony Banter with Cleo and Juliani and Christina. Um, another couple have booked a table and I think one other table's gone. Uh, if you're in between, let's say, six and seven and you're passing, pop in and say hello. We certainly will try uh, this, If yeah. you're in the village. If you're not, don't worry about yeah. it. But, uh, and we'll, we'll talk to you again. I'm Always sure then we'll see you next time you come. We certainly will, yeah, yeah. Maybe off camera or maybe we'll just, maybe you'll be a guest remotely on your phone from home. And we'll show you some of the stuff we do. Now, that'd yeah, be good. That'd be good. If we, I tell you what, we've got um, a Lambo. So yeah. we've got a Ferrari F50. Yeah. It's on C at the moment, coming yeah. from America. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll do a live yeah. and we'll cut it in half live. Exclusive on my show. On your show. Wow. wow. And can we do that on a Freaky Friday? Can we do our, well, it's a freaky to cut that because we'll get so you'll get so many. You won't believe when we do things like that on our Instagram. You won't believe how many hateful comments you get. I love hateful um, comments. Because, uh, but it's all good because it helps. It does. Do you know what I mean? So uh, he goes, what the trolls think that yeah. the trolls think that they're actually doing us bad, right? But the number of comments and thumbs down we get says, "Hey, this channel is controversial." Yeah. Pushy, pushy, yeah, pushy. Yeah. pushy. So yeah, we'll do that. I promise you. We'll okay. Do that live just for Ian, you so heard it here first. We're going to yeah. get. We're going to cut a Lambo in half. No, no, no. Ferrari. A Ferrari. F50. And of a Ferrari. We're going to cut a Ferrari F50 in half. One Freaky Friday, and we'll let you know beforehand so you can get your chips and your butties together, and you can sit there and watch that. And it'll be Friday at 5:55. Is that yeah, okay? Yeah, no problem. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Don't the workers want to go home? Oh, they'll stay until we, we open the doors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. Ian, i got to do this. No problems. That's great. Lovely Thank to you. meet you, Tim. You too, lovely man. Lovely to meet you all. Thank you. Nice so we're going to swing the camera around. Thanks, Ian. Cool. No it was problem. a great thing. I'm going to take that away from you. Cool. we got the uh, thingy cam here. That was so interesting. You can stick around, obviously, until you need to go. But I want to just show everybody who's here. And, of course, I'm going to give Yuliani the, uh, the, the wand. And here she is. Hi, the everyone. Yuliani. Hi. I'm and going to solo you. Today, we got some more guests here on the big terrace. Bye, Ian. Nice to meet you. So I'm here tonight with Mariska, with Christian and Jesse. So this is Maike. Mariska. Christian. Christian. Christian Maus. Christian Maus. And this and is Jesse. Jesse. I yes, can sir. boogie. I can boogie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. How did we meet? Can you, well, the, the story, the Let funny. Let me see if I can get you all in. The funny story actually was, and uh, and it's so good. You don't to, want to be on it? No. It's okay. so good to be with you here right yeah, now. English is not so very good. You know, um, the first um, live uh, that I did with uh, Tim on my own channel, uh, the Walking Talking live we did, you uh, you recognized me and you made a comment and I in that moment in that second I was not really like uh, mm, yeah uh, who's that and and then you said your son's name is Jesse and I was like oh, yeah and that rang a bell so how did it come about that you're here now yeah I believe we we, we met uh, yeah I have a mic also ah, okay. I believe we, we we've met I think th six seven maybe eight years ago mm -hmm. when you were working at the Rio Buena Vista Hotel yes and uh, and for some reason uh, you and, and our son Jesse connected very well that that summer <laughs> and uh, for us it's, it's it's our ninth year in the same hotel mm -hmm. so uh, the, the and it's recently refurbished so it's recently refurbished and it's it's 
yeah, it's becoming gorgeous. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's absolutely yes. beautiful. And, and we love the island. And uh, that's when we, we, we started to follow a few uh, vloggers from, from Tenerife. Yes, you, we you the were McMaster, telling the me you started and, with the McMaster. And of course, and, and then <laughs> Tim came around and you start following those channels because yeah. you love the island so much. Uh -huh. And uh, that's, I, I've always said if I've, I'm, I have enough money for a second house, it's gonna be here on Tenerife because we, we love it so much. So now and you're already checking out where to get uh, a nice little oh, absolutely, residency. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> to be honest, yes, yes. And how do you how do you find uh, Callao? Uh, well, of course, because it's it's only a few hundred meters from the yes. hotel, and um, I like relaxing, but I also mm. like to do something, uh, some some walking, so some tours in the, in the first years. Yeah. Um, but after a few years, when you've done all the main attraction on the island, you're going to discover the little pearls. Yeah. And, and there are plenty of little pearls on, yes. on this island. And uh, so you start walking around and then we came, came to Callao and, and it, yeah. And it's um, it's yeah it's a nice uh, little place a very intimate uh, place with a lovely little beach few uh, restaurants uh, and it's very uh, residential still absolutely quite yeah. residential opposed to maybe Playa Paraíso uh, seems more yeah, touristy. It mirrors Paraíso a little yeah. uh, I think uh, nine ten years ago. Yeah. Uh, Paraíso was in development at that moment mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, and now you see with the hard rock, it, it's yes. really becoming popular. Yeah. And you see the same thing happened to Callao. Mm -hmm. And it, it was, uh, yeah, not so, not, yeah, how do you say it? Um, for for uh, tourists, it was not so touristic. Uh, yeah. But now, when uh, and also when they they the Merlin refurbishing of yes. uh, of the Merlin uh, hotel. I think it, it, it mirrors uh, Paris. Yeah, I think that uh, it like merges quite well both yeah. of the little villages and um, and then now this uh, little crossway is open again where you can uh, take. Oh, a is it open? Well, the, the, uh, the yes, walk? the walk is open. Okay. Yes, I it's came. Not paved, but it's open. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, no, a few days ago, we wanted to go uh, walking to Callao, but the main road of the the, the small road, the, the one way road. It's, the it's, bridge uh, I'm referring, the little bridge. Oh, you, you meant the bridge? Yes. No, I meant the other way. The, 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 the plantation. Yeah, the, the, oh, that, no, that, that small... Uh, yeah, for the, um, to walk, I think you can walk. Uh, at the minute they are um, not giving access for the cars. So uh, you two have days to drive ago around. it was completely shut off. Uh, yeah. and, and, uh, no, there was no way yeah. to, to, to get around it, uh, even, when, even when walking. But you are also, you told me, very much into um, hiking, you and your wife, and yes, sir. Now, to be honest... How did that they, come they are about? Not as, not as hiking as, as me, but uh, they like to join. And, yeah. uh, and, and, and when they see, the, like, uh, Monte del Agua or, mm -hmm. or, or that kind of places. Uh, right now, we were a bit late, we arrived a bit late here because we, went, we, we came from uh, Abona from the, the ghost town. Ah, you went and to Abad, is the, we, yeah, the place? Yeah. And uh, to be honest, uh, we said, we're now going back to the car. We have to go to Callao, but we're coming back here because yeah. there's so much to see. It and is. You even have it to, is, is prohibited. But You have to spend uh, a long time there and make some time for that place. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's incredible. It's amazing. But my son, he heard the word ghost. And he said, no, 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 we're yeah. not going there. It's like, no, ghost town means abandoned. Yes. And th there's never lived anyone. <laughs> Is it because before people went exactly. to live there, uh, it was, no, it wasn't yes, needed anymore. Yes, the story was, I, I, I think um, that it was um, meant to be a leprosy colony. And while they yeah. were constructing it, um, they found a cure. Yeah. And then uh, in the end, Mm, yeah, that uh, whole thing didn't really happen, and it uh, and it stayed there and has never been really used. No. So, um, um, but it's lovely to see, and especially Could we turn it into a COVID colony, maybe. Yes, COVID. Uh, I mean no. there is graffiti there where it says similarities COVID, about COVID. Yeah. Yes, absolutely, and uh, it's it's amazing. It it has a church. It has like a school. 
Um, yeah, and, 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 and some kind of, of, of small theater uh, uh, Yes, thing. also, and which is so a, a little chapel. bit uh, weird at the minute. I mean, uh, there are uh, spooky things going on there. Now with Halloween coming up, I think uh, it's the, the perfect place to do uh, like a ghost walk. Uh, Absolutely. Or, or uh, around that area. Or it's having, amazing. Uh, yeah, so, some kind of, of, of happening over there. Yes, uh, absolutely. It's, it's, it's a perfect yes. scenario there. Um, yeah. So what else are you planning? You are staying here three weeks, you said? Um, yeah, we're flying back at the 4th of September, September so we, we still have two weeks to go. Two weeks. And uh, we're still going to be some, some hiking. Uh, we're going back to the ghost town for sure. Yeah. Because we haven't uh, spent enough time there. Yeah. Uh, we we are planning go to Tomaimo uh, mm -hmm. to walk over there. The tunnel uh, and, yeah, walk. Yeah, the tunnel walk. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> you've you've did it in one of your vlogs. Yeah. So we're going to do the same walk uh, over there. Okay, great. And yeah, <laughs> and we beat what do I And I think if there's a time uh, I'm I'm going back to Anaga. Anaga? Uh, Anaga. The, we did Monte del Agua. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 yeah, about the same, I think, uh, as Anaga, but Anaga seems to be much more pretty than, than Monte del Agua. Yeah, Agua's, there's so. so much to see up north. Uh, the north is a whole complete different scenery than here in the south. So, yeah. well, that's, so that's much also what I liked about the Canaries, because before Tenerife we went to uh, Gran Canaria. Yeah. And, uh, there is, it's about the, the same thing going on in the south it's it's all dry and with everything that grows there's a, a hose with water there because otherwise it, it doesn't it can't live there yeah but on the other edge of the mountain it's it's now i've it's, never seen a it's greener it's so lush and uh, and yeah, yeah you just and it's, don't know and it's, it's a bit the same here in the north and mm -hmm. so i have to uh, i want to go back so but that's not uh, high on the list. The yeah. first things are, are the ghost town and uh, Tamaimo and uh, yeah, that are the things we, we have to do. Monkey Park, we, we were going to Monkey Park. It, that, those are the small pearls. Yeah. It, it's, it's really small. So you have park. been uh, looking forward to this, uh, to this vacation a lot, right? Oh, two years. Yeah, last year we couldn't come because of the hotel uh, was refurbished at yes. that moment. So, uh, so we couldn't go there, and uh, now finally, after one year, uh, yeah, we're glad to be back. So, how was your feeling about uh, following like uh, Tim, Tim's channel, and then his walks and uh, and him walking around uh, in areas that you knew already? How was that? <laughs> Now, especially the walks, uh, I, I, I enjoyed the walks because, oh, there, there, there were we, and, and oh, and that's over there. And so yeah. y y a lot of recognition and uh, about the things you see. And um, yeah, and, and you see the, the, the changes. Uh -huh. and, um, and also Tim, um, uh, he reacts to the, the things you're asking. So yes. he said, do you know anything about uh, Buena Vista? And uh, well, we, we get the feedback uh, on that. Yeah, So uh, that's good. Yeah, that's a little, uh, yeah, how do you say it? A little foreplay about, your, 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 yeah, about the holiday? Yeah, exactly. And it's good interaction. So uh, yeah. uh, that's uh, anticipation is, is growing, right? Yeah, after, uh, <laughs> I think it was four, three, four years when we came to Tenerife and I've said to anyone, if anyone is looking me in Holland uh, of the Netherlands and they can't find me, say they have to look over here because <laughs> I probably will be here. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, yeah. Some, sometimes you, f you fall in love with, with yeah. places, with people and, and now this is sure a place where I fell in love with. And uh, the Canaries, I think, uh, have always been, uh, yeah, full with a lot of uh, Dutch people from from the Netherlands. Uh, it has always been. I remember when I started out uh, here on the island, and I uh, worked in entertainment. Um, the hotel entertainment team, a lot of them were um, stage people, like on yep. an internship oh. uh, from the Netherlands or from uh, Belgium. So that's why where I learned a little bit of uh, Dutch. Dutch? Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm very uh, happy that I can uh, finally speak it again with you. Yeah, at this moment, there are a lot of <laughs> Dutch people uh, yeah. uh, on the island. And I think it's going to last about a week uh, mm -hmm. because uh, after the, this week, of the forthcoming week, uh, most of the schools in Holland okay. uh, start again. Start okay. again. So the families yeah. uh, 
come home. So. Gladly, we, we still have one week uh, left after that, but... Hup, Holland, hup! Eh? Yeah, so, so we fly off the, the, the 4th of September, <laughs> and we arrive in the 5th, on, on the night of Saturday and Sunday, and Monday he has to... And, and yes, yes he has to go, and, going go to school, to at, school the, at, the, at the 6th of December, Monday, so... Well. It's a bit, yeah, <laughs> yeah, hurry, uh, how do you say it? Yeah, uh, um, like last minute. Yeah, last, but, last but minute. In, but, but actually you're enjoying until the last moment. We deserved three weeks. Exactly. We, 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 yeah. Yes, you we have to make up. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Have you got a question for Tim? Oh, yeah, a lot, I think. Now, the, the, let me, th uh, first, it's not a question, but it's it, it's... Uh, some brave thing uh, I thought he did is, is moving here because of his wife and I think that's one of the beautiful most beautiful things you can do mm -hmm. and uh, I know more people wanted to do this but they don't uh, they don't dare to do it yeah. it's, it's, it's for some reason uh, there's a wall to come over it to do it and uh, and Tim finally did it he did it. I think what you have to do is to be a bit of a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. Uh, it, your emotions really do um, navigate you through your life. And a lot of people, I was talking to somebody yesterday and they said it's what you lose. Uh, you, you always look at what you lose before you make the decision you and not what you gain. And yeah. I've always looked at what I gain. I've never weighed up the loss of a decision. Yeah. Um, well, I, I've, I've weighed up the pros and cons, okay. But I've never seen it as a loss. I've seen it as a con, right? Yeah. And uh, even, if the, even if the cons, even if the, the cons outweigh the pros, I'll still go for the pro because I've never experienced that and that means it's new. And if you live with new experiences, you live forever. Yeah, and I think that's what's holding people, uh, what's holding people back. Uh, that, that, like you said, what, what they are losing. Uh, we leave the families behind, our friends over there, uh, our work, our, our stability. And, but yeah. But my daughter said she'd rather visit me in Tenerife than in Wenzenbach. You yeah, know? you said that in the last balcony banter. Uh, yeah. yeah, she'd rather yeah. visit me in Tenerife than Wenzenbach. Yeah, and to, you know whether she's forty minutes away or four hours away, it doesn't really matter to me. She, at the moment, she's in Ghana, and if she has to come to me, even though it's shorter to fly from here to Ghana, there's no direct flight, so she's got to fly over Madrid. So that means she has to do two flights. It's going to take her a day and a half to get yeah. here, you know. And um, but that's okay because. She could be here. For, if I called her now, she could be here for balcony banter. Yeah, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And but but that was what, what I uh, thought of then. I, I thought it was pretty brave to do it. And I think uh, I think a lot of people have said braveness. I don't think it's to do with braveness. I think brave is 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 getting over yourself. Yeah. Um. How, how can I explain it? Brave is being, uh, to me, is, is being um, against yourself for the benefit of others. But this is not, this is not brave. If I'm for having for the benefit of me. Yeah. You know, I'm making the decision for the benefit of me. Yeah. So, it, so I can't be brave because I'm getting something out of it. Yeah, I know, I know <laughs> what you mean. But, but, but still, yeah. Uh, I, I said in the balcony banter, uh, sometimes uh, the, the, the strongness, uh, how strong you are isn't measured by how long you can hold on to something. Exactly. But it's, it's Letting most go. Let, let go. Letting go, you're right. Christina's a great one for that because she says she lets go and feels free. And I think that when we, when we moved over here, we threw everything away. We gave things away. I mean, I gave a shed with about millions of dollars worth of tools to the next door neighbor. How much do you want for it? Just take it. We're not going to, we're not going to, I'm not going to use tools in, a, in an apartment in Tenerife, no, you know? No. And they couldn't understand why the things that I had, you know, the mini with the, 
the go faster stripes and the Union Jack on the on the mirrors and everything, you know. I gave I gave that back to the lease company and three grand <laughs> because I was giving it back early, you know. Yeah, yeah. And it didn't bug me. It didn't bug me. Yeah. I think that if there's one thing I've learned, things don't make you happy. No, and <laughs> yeah, I think that's most true of everything. Most true of everything. But a lot of people can't can't get their head around it. It's got to be things, you know. No, that's what I meant by a wall. So they, they, I, they I, have I think to you're climb right. over a I wall. Right. And, 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 and when we can help people uh, tear that wall down uh -huh. and uh, they finally make the step, I think you, you can absolutely, you can be happy here. If there's one thing that I would say is that don't come here to be on permanent holiday. That was a mistake that we all make. And even we made it. So I saved up enough money. I got enough money together by selling everything and, and getting a, a golden handshake from the work and everything. And, and I said, OK, we're set for six years until I get my pension. And we spent it in two by being, by being on holiday. So if you do come over here and to live, you're going to stay home. You're going to love your balcony. You're going to love. So and a lot of British people watching they tend to think of the house as the main thing you know whether you've got a a conservatory or a or a or a, um, a, a reception area or how many bedrooms and here it's outside space all you need is a kitchen and a bedroom and a place to watch tv when it's when it's cooler in the evenings three rooms and that's it and uh, the rest is outside space so if you're going to make the move do it uh, with outside space and rent before you do anything. A year's rent costs you nothing here. Let's say, even if it's a thousand a month, that's a top quality three bedroom, four bedroom apartment in the tourist area. A thousand a month is going to cost you 12 grand. It'll save you a fortune because then you can buy the house you really want. Can we, uh, vielleicht we can in auf Deutsch uh, hello sagen? Or Oh, some of our, our friends and family are, are, are watching, watching now. Yeah, they're watching now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and what are they called? Huh? What are their names? Uh, Sylvia and Bastin. Do you want to say hello to Sylvia? Yeah. <laughs> hello, Sylvia and Bastin. Hi, hi. <laughs> you can say it in German or in Dutch. In Nederlands? Hey, hello, uh, Bastin and Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Yeah. I think we got that. Do you want to yeah. say something else that maybe other people won't understand if they don't speak no, Dutch? Wat wat iemand anders niet kan. Groetjes vanuit hier. Ja, van mij ook. Groetjes. A little stage fright. <laughs> This is how it is. I'm going to open the room now. Can I have a microphone back? Yeah, of course. You're going to uh, open me. the room. <laughs> you know, I, I thought you might be wearing orange, but I didn't believe it maybe, but it's turned up in orange. Yes, it has to be <laughs> orange. To be honest. <laughs> oh, give me the microphone. Mic mic no. ah, sorry. To be honest, this wasn't orange. <laughs> 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 I have to be honest. This used to be red, but somehow it became a bit orange. So, there you go. Uh, so you went from communism to <laughs> being Dutch. <laughs> uh, maybe I should thought about this better uh, when I left the, the hotel uh, this, it this afternoon. It's authentic orange, huh? it really does. Yeah, I know, but uh, yeah, maybe I should thought of this over a bit more. <laughs> Christian, I want to thank you for coming tonight. I, re I know that you were in the best place in the world and you, you ripped yourself away to come to me. And I, I really, really do thank you that. Uh, we've been on now for 43 minutes. I'm going to do another 20 minutes with people online. They're, I'm going to open the room now. So if you're watching uh, Jem and Nikki and Ian and all the other people that said they might come into the room, I'm going to open it in about two minutes. So if you're ready, get ready. And uh, our executive producer is back. The executive yeah. producer, Ian, yes. <laughs> and I'd like to thank Ian as well for coming in. And do you want to say, oh, you've already said hello. Yeah, no problems. So I'm going to take, this, take the, everything back now, stick my earphones on because n nobody else will be able to hear the people online. Uh, are you going to stay for another drink or are you, you're, you're doing something? You're going for dinner somewhere? No, I would.
Uh, I think we're going to eat. Yeah. You're going to eat here? No, I think we're going back, uh, going back to the hotel. We, we left about, uh, I think, 3 o'clock. Oh, wow. So, it's, so you need to freshen up and then yeah, and uh, get a bottle of wine and relax. Yeah? So we stay in touch in a few weeks. So I follow the vlogs and uh, you'll see me once. Yeah, if, if you want to come on uh, with your camera, well, the Wi-Fi is remote. Um, the, 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 the connection is no, the connection is okay, but the bandwidth is is, is not uh, from home good enough. From home, absolutely. Well, you come absolutely. on from home. Okay, we do. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, solo mio. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had so many people here tonight and I really do appreciate that. Last week there was lots of people online. This week we've got people, bums on seats as we say. And uh, I'm just going to mute this for a second. There you go. And uh, I'll give it to Juliana later if she wants to come and say hello to Ian. But I've only got one set of earphones and uh, so therefore ladles and jelly spoons uh, I can only I'm the only one that's going to hear you guys and because I've got the thing here it's the only, the only one I'm going to see you guys as well but uh, I'm going to have a quick look at the uh, at the chats as well so in the meantime I'm going to put this other camera a little bit out of the sun hopefully looking out at the mountains and Mount Tady in the distance And then I'm going to sort stuff out and you can chat amongst yourselves. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Tropical Park. If you want to book Tropical Park for your next holiday, there it is. And the white hotel at the back on the right is the Kayao Garden Blue Sea Restaurant, uh, Blue Sea uh, Hotel. So if you want to book either of those two. But I recommend having a look at Pearly Grey or Pearla Gris because that is beautiful. And don't forget, the fourth one we've got down here is the AtlanticHolidayCompany.com. And Christian and family are staying at the Hard Rock Hotel. No, 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 no Rio Buena Vista. A Buena Vista, Rio Buena Vista. Oh, my camera died. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> my um, thing died because my daughter's calling from Africa. She's calling from Africa. Everything okay? Yeah. Are you watching us live? Oh. <laughs> oh, she says. <laughs> there she is, watching us live. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, are you, everything okay? You can call your mum yeah. if you want to FaceTime your mum. She's at home. Love ya. Love Bye. Bye. <laughs> share this device, share the camera. I gotta share the camera. Oh, you're not even looking at me. You couldn't even see her. I, I showed her the camera and you couldn't even see her because she called my phone. The thing was, I put myself on do not disturb, but she's allowed to disturb me. That's the whole point of the whole thing. So I've not looked at any of your comments. I'm busy panicking now. There we go. And I'm going to show you. There we go. <laughs> I wonder why it went off. So there's Tady up in the background. Look. Actually, I'm going to show you this way. That's nice. Da, 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 da. Ah, I've got to move you because it's in the sun. And that's not in the sun. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to sort things out and open the room. And where is the room? The room. The room. Uh, I'm going to join the room. I've got to put, get me earphones first. Uh. Oh. These are great. Big ears.
I'm connected with my ear. And if I can not force voice mode, there you go. And we go to the audio, we're USB. Go to the room, do not voice voice mode and join the room. Okay, ladles and jelly spoons. If you uh, want to come on now, you can. And we'll see you there. So I'm expecting uh, Nikki and Jem in case they've, um, unless they've gone, oh, he's not doing it tonight and has gone home. And we'll go for this double view here. So you can see a little bit of Chaos of Achi. In the meantime, I'll look to see what you're saying. My, my, my iPad mini is overheating, actually. Is there was here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wouldn't you think playing bowls would be so physical? Hey, Pete and Shell's on. Hi, Pete. Hi, Shell. Palm trees, nothing better. There you go. What's driving the bus lane? He was driving in the bus lane. Yeah, what happens is they've got like a gully over the road and it's it's dipped so if you go into the bus lane it's not many people have driven over it so then you can when you're going out the village you drive in the bus lane and back out and then um, you don't get the bump so we'll see hi Tim just logged on I'm in pearly grey miss your blog meet up for the chat Wednesday in little Germany Kevin hey Kevin how's it going little I'll tell you what pearly grey fantastic place fantastic place uh Fundido El Negro. Is this is this a fundido? Is this a fundido? Uh, no. Funda. Funda. What's fundido? Fundido is like um, it's um, El Negro. Melted. Huh? Melted. Melted. Oh, melted. Okay, fundido El Negro. Melted to black. But this is funda. This is a funda. I thought it was. Oh, uh, okay. I thought it was. <laughs> Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. Okay. He was driving in the bus lane. We got all that. What else we got? Wouldn't think, play oh, what was the bowls thing? Are we still online? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Nobody's come in the room yet. That's because they're greedy, selfish, and don't realize what they have. Oh dear, says Carl. Sad you get to know without money is no good having your health without money that's a fact it is actually a fact it's uh, if you're healthy and no money or would you rather be unhealthy with money I don't know let's see what Carl's saying you got to say something positive to say Carl Just had to check here. No, it's uh, it's open now. The room is now open. So if you want to come in, go to timothydow.com slash live and uh, follow the instructions. Willie Russian, hoping to be within four weeks. Great, so. See, so still at him, good. Mine's frozen though. Oh, because I didn't press go, that's why. It looks like I'm sending two pictures with timdow.com, but I can only actually see uh, the single one. Maybe I'm lagging way behind. Oh, I'm way behind. Here we go. There you go. That's better. So I can now see. 
Do Little Germany open for lunch at all, Tim? No, they don't. Uh, they open, well, they do, but on Sundays, uh, Sunday lunch. But uh, it's five till midnight, I think it is, or five till whenever they can close. Steve Fish is out on Friday, Steve. Cool dude. Good evening, Tim. Great interview tonight. Thanks, Steve and Jackie. Uh, I really enjoy it when people come to, to, uh, to say hello. This is the, what the whole channel was going to be about. Living with MS in Tenerife was the backdrop, but I really wanted to interview people. That was going to be the AFCAST. When I did the AFCAST podcast, I was going to go and sit and do it on a, in a bar on a beach in the afternoon and give them the, the, all the details and then interview somebody. I might actually restart that now. So what I can do is I can go back and, uh, and organize that, sit in a bar, tell people where I am or stop people on the street with my trusty uh, second microphone here from road road microphones are the best if roads watching um, you can send me another one <laughs> uh, Kevin rang you last week regarding PLC or antigen test we got an antigen test and got to Tenerife no problem oh wow that's cool uh, it, even if you uh, uh, are you vaccinated just came back from Greece, never checked our rapid antigen certificates or passage locator form. Uh, Carl, uh, when they don't check you, it means that you weren't uh, in the, uh, you weren't in the, what's it called? You weren't in the, um, the list. Ian has just arrived. He's going to be putting his, his uh, film on in a minute. Can you hear me, Ian? Uh, more chicken. So Carl, if you can say something positive, that'd be quite nice. Yeah, Sunday lunch. They do, uh, Sundays is actually schnitzel dog. Schnitzel dog. They do, um, they do schnitzels as a special offer. Uh, but you can have anything you want. You can have your steaks or whatever you want. They don't do a typical English Sunday dinner, but they, they will do schnitzel or steaks or whatever you want, really. More chicken. Ah, Pete and Shell went out for a chicken dinner, says the waiter. Can we have some more gravy? He said, sorry, I'm out of stock. <laughs> Ian, can I hear you? I can't hear you. I've got to turn this up. Hello? Uh, just a minute. Uh, I think I might have. I'm going to go out of the room and come back in. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. So I'm back in the room. Ian, can I hear you? I cannot hear you here, but that's probably my problem, not yours. If you can go out and come back in, that'll be good. Oh, you can hear me, I assume. My rambling business is getting there, but it's a walking, a walking process. <laughs> the weather in Greece is absolutely lovely. How's that? Carl, thank you very, very much. Was done trucking said, what's four inches long, two inches wide and drives me crazy? An empty toilet roll. <laughs> so Ian's back in. Hello. Can I hear you? Hello. No, nope. I've got to check my audio settings. It's USB audio and Ian video chat and voice mode is off and audio monitoring is off. I'm going to turn voice... In. Don't worry. Okay. I'll catch you later. Ian, i got to go. Sorry about that, my old friend. Yeah, okay. See ya. See ya. I'm going to turn... And I shall go back to lightning. Ladies and gentlemen, the room did not work today. I do apologize. I could only hear Ian if I went to voice mode, but then it turns the microphone on in the ears here, which is no good because you get all the wind sound and everything and all the music in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to thank you all very much. And I'm going to close it up for today and have a quick chat with Christian and family. 
and with Giuliani and uh, AB, AB, AB. Google thinks you might like this one next. Uh, oh, I'm going the wrong way. There you go. And if you want to support the channel, you can join us there in the big square button. And if you want to subscribe and you haven't already done so, you can subscribe. This is Tim, Christina at home, Christian family and Giuliani here. Ian's gone. The other is also gone. For living with MS and Tenery, signing off. Bye.